very inquisitive, had to know everything. Six-year-old Keegan Adkins was smart, energetic, and giving. I'm running and playing now. I'm no longer sick. I'm healthy. Keegan's mom reads a letter from an eight-year-old girl who needed a liver transplant. It was the best day of my life when I know it was the hardest day of your life. Two other people are also alive thanks to the donation of Keegan's organs. After Keegan was pronounced, something hit me as I was snuggling him in his bed. I said something about his, his beautiful blue eyes and I said I wish that all kids and all people could see the world the way that he did. Shannon and husband Scott called Kentucky Organ Donor Affiliates and that precious gift is now being recognized on a national stage. The float is always in the Rose Bowl Parade and it's always made out of all natural materials. The Atkins were chosen to help represent the Donate Life Rose Parade float on New Year's Day. Shannon and Scott will join 81 other families and they'll help create Keegan's Florograph. It should be good for us uh, mentally, you know, really spending some time with people who uh, really do know how it feels to lose somebody, you know, at a young age. Mm -hmm. And you've lost two. I've lost two. Uh, my other son, uh, Corey, was killed in a motor vehicle accident in North Carolina at Camp Lejeune. He was a Marine. Corey had signed up to donate his organs, but blunt force trauma didn't allow it. Corey and Keegan had a true bond, a bond that will be remembered this holiday. To go somewhere and have that little man honored and remembered by so many people, um, it's perfect timing for us. Perfect timing for us.